te abatwa ni babe koso. Iti John Drameni Mahama e din kanko share journalist. Ana afin so eye Dr. Maulu Maubia en swa kushia eye journalist. Iti Mahama dina u kushia journalist no. Ena eye kwa ju se din kwa babu n tin be kan se journalist e kupi mu wono. Na omunye na ano eye sika en wamu kwa kwa jiye because u kwa bi fwa bi wulum ye tu yawka san wo betere ye. Eman kwa fo mu kwa si omye endisi journalist bini bi babu nti bi didina temu kwa se entesa. Se se ya ye kase yi. Kwa ju se din kwa kato so se endi MPP fonsu timi ye sa adi se imti wano so kain. Ama eye Captain Smart ababon ting abedin komo. Edi afa hon se awo chile wani nkase yi mu se. Wano kwa nin kwa fu binom awo mu wo eye media genwa wano eko program nibi. Ema ye mu ubiye 200 thousand se bibisa awo be kame kwa mu wo tiye sanse mu wo kan ye. Na ye bo sanse mu ye ma umu tiye wia me kan se media chile mu waha. Iti de Captain. A microphone is so now be announced. No more, if it was live on air, more, more, if you are coming up, more, more, say, no, 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 repeat. I won't go to go no home. Oh, qua, oh, do invitation, betcher. Now I sign it. What do invitation, Mitra? Now I sign, no, what the two hundred million? Miss, if you have four, could you be at the two hundred million? Le 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 Two hundred million Twenty thousand Red Nibi Omo shena su ko yi si kano First place omo yi first one Eye APSA Second bank omo yi Eye Fidelity Third bank Eye CBG I am daring them to come and tell me I am lying Sa seva lang kruza na ko yi si kano fi CBG no Ye hun Kana a koyi sikan from Fidelity Bank. And the buy you no know, yeah, mm. Absa dear no so it was a saloon car. Toyota a uh, 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 say C A M A E R Y no one say Camry Yeah mm. Muji Captain Smart it did ya. One one you pay us and wa bon tia watcher one in case you say NDC a useless uh, political party. Captain Smart on one pakuya. We will never ever succeed we will never ever get to the destination we all yearn for and now na juna meti asia say ndc a useless grouping ndc a useless grouping ndc a useless grouping ti se mu dine didi ene na to je mo mo anka se masem anyway ye ntwam ne yanku yenim so mo kwadi school so mo kwadi school en se ma ba ba o mi antime ansa one of two questions bi a o mo kire se o mo gu nanim ase e ye nsem ahodoa enko fo a yetu a o mo ka se de captain e ka no ekobusa ye obi a yetu a wo ka se ko ne kobusa president ana se ex president asem na o ko jina ho o kobusa ko se be gu nanim ase asem ye ye to aso mu ni pa na yetu a ne ka no o ko jina ho e wo se obusa question a president ne ni be je no o san so obusa question a president ne ni be gu ase san no be so mo kire Anyway, yen tuwa swe. Now, de ti ni. Questions a hudu mi bide wawai yubusa. E ye Dr. Maudu ba wumia. A wasi ibu wakura na wanti. Yafine ya mise wapokwa kwa wifi. Misa anu wakana ni nisema diye. Na, wansi ye wo. Nyoma mi yunu ne wo gana. Ye wo nko fubi wo wo ma juni mungi na ye NPP. Eni wo nko fubi wo wo ma juni mungi na ye NDC. Ti nko mwona ye dini ye pa. Now, at the end of the day no. E ni po wo ma juni mungi na ye NPP. Eni ni po wo ma juni mungi na ye NDC no. Se uko tina bebi na uko kan NPP asem ewo NDC platform suwa enyi yi. Uko tina bebi na uko kan NPP asem ewo NDC platform suwa enyi yi. Because yon platform bi uwa, ewo se bibi ya uke mbi ya koma ni paba ako. Eni yon platform bi uwa se bibi ya uke mbi ya koma ni paba ako. Eni yon platform bi uwa on suwa, asem uwa woka ni important too. But at the end of the day, uwa nka se mwye nu wodi ini pakura woka na asem ni wodi na tem. Yon fani se mi e kwa naba na uke mbibi ya fami hon. Na odi abuwa na kwa siyana hon fin hon kan kan o didi atem basa basa mi ma metie program no ebi kwa na asem a wo kan so important o ba mi ma metie program because at the end of the day no mi betie program ni wi a me bu e besan fu nti nsem me bere ho a papa no enimu a betima gi atum in the sense say ebi a wo mo e wo so mo so kama ne te no enso nka e ma ne nte ne ba bi e be kama na te nso e de abua na kwasia ne ta ta e title nti wo nkonko ti sansem ne kura Kevin Taylor bit man make a lot of submissions at all, but he beer. Now he has some kind of what say a bind with me a young baby. But only you know now a boy no kwasiya e chato. 
Captain Smile bit maka asim bi ebi important e wasa abain iti na oye hu bibi. But on we no na abua ana kwa se echa to. Until the end of the day, nipa na waka asem na che na e wasa udi hu uju mano. On kong kuti ukura nwa kwa e. Because on we no page na ebe ya abua na kwa se ya. Until samu besa mo kasa chile penyini biya. Mo nka asem ni in the professional way nipa na tia obe ya hu bibi. Ti komoni ye pa mise miti miti ya ti me kasa. Emma police for what he said. Eden Omote, man, can't be one of your better Omote. Think of money. And so I said, man, me can't be quite your point. You pay a better man. You swap work. I said, I'm who fine. But say, I'm who tan tan. Me yes, I did. But me we know when you pan a better message name the buyer. It was so much me every brand you are moving. How much you presenting message to pay for? Na I said, man, I work and pay you. No person will tell you. If you grow in your time, I'm going to hear all of the things or hear about thing. But what we have been doing information, media is a part of the political parties. Media is a part of nation building. You know, you can hear. It is a media debate. Politicians are pursuing what? If we are not to make one or two BF, no, the ABB is important. But all by the time a page no so no a one a question and go on the go so no only time we can go by the time. And so we are now Kenyan system. And the power don't watch that one can go on a question and so. I was so can't say something about politicians and the so. Ono su nti mi me kanu ono vati. The same thing applies to Mahama. Mahama ye bibi. O kwa ye le tam program yi wi. And aso Mahama ko shi shi a jenalisi. E hun se mi bri. NDC fo le discase. NPP fo le discase. En se mo o kan ye important nan trendi. Because en kwa shi a se mo trendi sin inyan sa se mo. Ti wko mo li ye. E ti dia ba o. Ba o miya e ye ye ini ye. Ma min chile mo. Ba o miya hunu se. En kwa shi a se mo trendi sin inyan sa se mo. Inti kwa shi ni suwa mubu suwa mwa juni mwa mwa ni suwa mwa busa liye gu papa nani mwa se yano. Anasu mwa busa tebe wu inti minyi yano nwa mwenye biya kano. Ono su fa sa kwa shi ni nwa. Ono su di atone hon. Inti lopo amu kwa all the platforms wama postu ba omye inti ma ansa kwa shi. Ba omye ni mwa gu ase. Asemwe wu inti minyi yano ono. Onyi sa asem na nwenye nwa di atone hon. Onyi sa asem na nwenye nwa. Na wadi atone hon. Wati ase inti ba omye anse mwa mwa kubuse busa yano. Ewo program na se yano. At the end of the day, do we are no crana na we ni no crana. We are so they are torn him. Tim Kumoni Yipa, because in Kwasi Assembly, but trendy as the Nyansa Sem. In Tim Kwasi, a question I will name some Ubusa, and as a question I will name some Yansa Sem or Ubusa. So, Papa Ninti Mini Yanon, Ube Yano in a professional way, no sign they are torn him. Tim Kumoni Yipa, it is about me a Dinkumobi, a program or so, or best starting. Was in call for so why you need to be with you know what I, and then I think Ebukwanza was talking about uh, people calling me a liar, and then you go, you know, and, and that is very. I said to someone, well, uh, at least I'm not called a murderer as my boss was called, or I'm not called a drug dealer, or even I'm not called government official one. You know, uh, but why do I, I mean, do these things arise? Fundamentally, I believe that Ghana can do exactly what is happening in the developed world, in the advanced countries. I believe it is possible for us to leapfrog technology. Uh, and, and, and for us to do this, we must have this mindset of possibilities is why I'm saying it is possible. We are always, you know, timid in trying to, to do things that are not even done in the advanced countries. We think because it's not been done in the advanced countries, we shouldn't even try. But we can leapfrog them in many areas. Same way, Anna, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Okaye, Obinya Simpi, Jinaswan. Because a platformer will be a ped or beckon vina. And as some will beckon a bit more trendy, and as some will beckon a bit more conanim, and some will be called more. It is a most million twelve year me be yano, a sin is in a tear, who we know is our turn home. Into who share program na mana, time time now walk us when you enter on, while sons were jabby Mahama or one con and some will be trendy, and was under turn home. Politicians not generally do with him, no. So one yes sharp. Now you why you need to be be an abe fan of tough bread and after pressure a bit too pressure the amount. O can say mano it's hard to talk. Let the people say a question be. Say a question you know. 
ene nkofo si wo guba o mieni mase. Because nene nkofo bi akwa ye politis ni adi adibi akwa didi elchide amo mwa wugu. Wanka mi bi anfa hon. Anas wo manye press conference. Anas wo manye issue statement bi anfa hon. Nkofo wo share sa video wese wo di ogu nene mweni mase. But Obelete ni busa asemi wye no. Ba wo mi ade tonne hon. Africa has also fact checked and confirmed that eight people in the 2020 general elections. We haven't heard the president make a statement on it of justice or anything for that matter. I'm not sure I've heard you make any statement on it as well. And I've spoken to a lot of analysts who say that if you had addressed this very early on in your campaign, maybe you'd have had a greater chance um, than you might have now. If you become, and, and that's a question I've had. I've just, I just want to find out from you what you make of this. And if you will address matter. And finally, would you agree with Ghania say that you should apologize for where we are at the moment, especially looking at promises that were made and the performance not matching to those promises? Thank you very much. Thank you. So let's, let's go through it. I think it's a, a question that eight people died in the 2020 election, um, and the president or me, we have not commented on it. Um, I'm not quite sure um, whether the president has commented or not, um, but any time we lose a life in, in any circumstance, it doesn't have to be an election. I think it's, it's really a very sad event when you talk about loss of life um, for anybody. Um, and so I think that it's, it's very, very... Um, uh, a sad occurrence if, uh, for people who died during the election, uh, maybe out of um, conflict or something. So it is something that I uh, hope um, the um, authorities, law enforcement authorities, uh, have dealt with or are dealing with. I, I'm not quite familiar with the, the full current status of that particular situation, but the people who are responsible uh, should uh, should be brought to book um, to deal with um, with this issue. Uh, the, the issue also the question question was also that should we should I apologize for uh, not being a good economic manager? Um, <laughs> it's very interesting. You know, because when you look at the work that we have done, uh, and let me go through some of it. For the first time in our history, first time since independence, we have a national ID system. For the first time. For the first time in our history, championed National ID at birth, all children, all children at birth, together with their birth certificate. Never happened in our history. For the first time in our history, with the Ghana card, you don't need a guarantor to get a student loan. First time in our history, Ghana has a comprehensive address system. We've struggled with this for 60 years. 60 years. It's only under our government, and with my initiative, that we have a comprehensive digital address system. For the first time in our history, you have 100% access to financial inclusion in Ghana. For the first time. In our history, for the first time in our history, we have drones delivering medical supplies to 2,694 facilities and saving lives. 140,000 flights have been made so far to very remote parts of Ghana. Daily, they are going an average of about 100 flights a day from each of the six drone centers, saving lives. So many lives have been saved 
women in childbirth, needing blood, people who have been bitten by snakes, you get the report that the drones are saving. And Ghana is the whole world's largest medical drone. It's a free one. And I'm free journalist at Kano. Our captain smart is here more musical. I start to busy questions. But I could be so I could go board. And my lie you cross off free. Sorry, I busy on one or two questions. Be our no so only say was who busy. You could eat your questions. You busy about me. Now no you are the buy. Found what being in a brand. Former President Mahama on his campaign tour in Western North Region claim Cocoa Board is on the verge of collapse. Do you believe Cocoa Board has collapsed? And what is your plans for Cocoa Board? Um, Cocoa Board. It's on the verge of collapse. Um, I'm not. I'm not aware of that. Uh, but uh, we will. We will we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I cannot comment on that. Um, it's, it's not. Um, I, I'm, I don't know where the data is coming from. My name is Nanaya Kesi. I work with PZFM. You have promised abolishing birth tax, e levy, flat import duty one-time tax amnesty among others. If you really believe that, that is what Ghana needs, why should we wait till you become the president and not implement it now? Was that we wanted to do these tax reforms, import duty, flat tax, tax amnesty, and so on. But why don't I do it? now and and why do i want to i must have a manifesto otherwise if i do everything now <laughs> if i could <laughs> what would i do when i come into office <laughs> i mean how can you do everything now uh, uh, even president mahama former president who is who was president i'm only vice president but he was president why didn't he do everything then I mean, why is he coming back? He had full authority. I don't have full authority. The budget that has gone to parliament, which has been passed, is not my budget. Is it my budget? It's not my budget. The budget goes in the name of the president. It doesn't go in the name of the vice president. But when you have to think about what new do you want to do, you come up with new ideas. And I've come up with new ideas which I want to do when we come into office. Everyone who is running for office, whether you are Kamala Harris or you are Baumia, you still have to think about what you have to do when you get into office. And this is why I'm presenting my new ideas uh, as to what to do. Um, before I proceed to ask my questions, I would like to um, emphatically state that these questions were not given to me by anyone here. <laughs> um, they are from my head, so I'm going to ask. Now, uh, Mr. Vice President, my name is Koji Sheldon. I represent Koji Sheldon Studios. Um, the first one is about 322 pharmaceutical doctors uh, on social media right now are planning on suing the health ministry uh, about unpaid you know, allowances. Now, for someone that has highlighted in your manifesto that when voted into power, you are going to, you know, improve or help improve the condition of services when it comes to or conditions of service when it comes to our health people. For right now that you are the vice president, what can you do to help these pharmaceutical, you know, uh, doctors who are, you know, contemplating on suing uh, the Ministry of, you know, Health? My second question bothers... No, no, could you? Oh, oh, don't oh. do that to me. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao. Oh, no, no. See, David, David, David. the question is... Eh? one question. Oh, boss. One, one. One question. So, my question... The second question is about no, no. perception. Don't do that. Boss. Don't do that. Oh, bro. Don't do that. The, 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 I didn't the allow... Bella. Perception is very, very, very important. I'll come back to you. The pharmacists are my very good friends. Um, we... we but you're talking about 322 pharmaceutical doctors who are threatening to sue the Ministry of Health for their allowances. Um, again, I, I want to take this one up. I'm, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about this particular issue. Uh, I think it is Sheldon who raised it. 
Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware of it, but I think it's an important issue um, that we, we should really um, resolve. Um, so we'll, we'll talk to the Ministry uh, of Health and, and Finance. Uh, thank you very much. So my, my question is coming from a group of students on scholarship abroad. They are concerned that the scholarship secretariat is not doing what it has to do for them. At page 27 of your manifesto, you speak about harmonizing public uh, scholarships. And there's a purpose for it. You say the purpose is to give full visibility. Beyond the visibility, what will you do about this? now and not later. They, they are some of them, for 20 months, they have not received their stipends. In a number of universities in the UK, in Warwick, Coventry, Nottingham, they are under threat of losing their studentship. In Birmingham, 11 of them have already been withdrawn and they are facing deportation. Will you inquire, particularly knowing about the Fourth Estate's investigations dubbed Scholarship Bonanza, about what appears to be a racketeering in that place? And will you forbid and prohibit politically exposed persons wealthy enough, known in society, I think from accessing uh, these thank scholarships. You, thank you. I think the question is very well. Samson uh, talked about the scholarship uh, students and, and, and all of that. And I think this is a very, very important issue. Um, there's nothing more heart wrenching than t taking a student abroad and not being able to take care of them um, in, 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 in those circumstances. And I think that. Um, I believe, and this is what we are saying, that one needs to, first of all, harmonize these databases so that you have full visibility and transparency. Um, and, and also, uh, we, we have undertaken in the manifesto to publish all the beneficiaries of, of all of these uh, scholarships as they come so that everybody knows who is getting the scholarships and so on, um, and again, uh, I've been, I'm been made very aware of this issue. It's not, um, it's not new um, because students have even and parents have gotten in touch with me uh, about the awards and, and, and the scholarships and so on. So we're talking with the uh, Ministry of Finance and the Scholarship Secretariat. Uh, I think they were able to to make some payments to, to some of the UK students and so on. But we will follow up on that because it's very urgent. Um, the first question had to do with NAPCO, um, the Nation Builders Corps in the areas that um, have been owed um, to, to NAPCO. Um, I think that the, the program had about 100,000 people on it, and I, I think initially it was supposed to be uh, a three-year program, um, and then would be renewed and so on. But I think that so far, out of the 100,000 that were taken, 34,000 have exited into permanent jobs under NAPCO, and the others I, uh, I still, but I think that the issue that uh, Bella raises is the arrears and, and how we are going to deal with it. I've raised this issue this, because this is not really uh, a, a, this is some information that has come to me already about the arrears in the NAPCO program, and I've raised this issue um, with the Minister for Finance um, and, and trying to to persuade them to, to, to make uh, these arrears payments. So we will co follow that up on behalf of the, the NAPCO uh, employees. The second 
issue has to do with uh, providing better health care in the manifesto and the issue of cars and how these um, will affect local come but we will leave it a video young co journalist are captain smart is a chill musical questions on mubusai young co henny in a no for a drink in a brahma se baumia why a shop questions are on no one is an asshole what you know who is an on our be me a share no i say because what come quite someone who genius our questions no home and what they turn home see journalist questions on mubusai let me hear from salma Salma, please go ahead. Please give the microphone to Salma. Um, good evening, Your Excellency, and thanks for the opportunity. My name is Salma Ahmed of um, Ikra Radio. Um, Your Excellency, having advocated for the creation of the Zongo Development Fund, how impactful has it been to the Zongo and the inner cities? Thank you. Umar is under from city. Thank you so much. Good evening, Mr. Vice President. I have a message from your in-laws, the Fulani people. <laughs> they say I should tell you that, and remind you rather, that they are still being discriminated against when it comes to obtaining national ID cards, the passport, and so on. So kindly work on the discrimination part for them. My question, your critics, mostly the NDC, they say that the economy has overused, so you run away to digitalization. What is your response to such a criticism? Thank you so much. Anybody from Savannah region? State, two failures of your current administration which you seek to correct. And how do you intend to do this differently should you become the president? Thank you. Thank you. Central region. It's very difficult to hear the MPP talking about the fight against corruption. I don't know whether that has been captured in the manifesto. If it has, can you throw a little light on it for us, please? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. You've been touted as one with integrity. And we know integrity is anchored on trust. On your campaign tour, you're making promises. In some instances, a renew of those you've made in the past. Thankfully, you've been reminded of one you made in 2016 to relieve Ghanaians of the suffering. Seven years down the line, there is still suffering. This time around, excruciating hardship. You are appealing to Ghanaians to promote you to the higher office of the land. Respectfully, respectfully, do you think you should be trusted with a mandate that you are or you, you, you have what it takes to relieve Ghanaians of what they are going through? Thank you. Thank you, Andy. So basically the question is that between Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and former President Mahama, who should a Ghanaian voter trust? He would respond to it. <laughs> Please give the microphone to Nana or Katichi Afrifa. Okay, it's with, it's with Ivan. So let Ivan come then, or Katichi will come then, Anko Ebukwansa will come. Okay. My name is Evans Mensa. I work with John News. On page 29 of your manifesto, you promise to protect Ghanaian cultural values. My question to you is, as president, will you sign the promotion of Ghanaian sexual rights and family values bill? Thank you. Okatechi, I think we've taken more than the, the six at this point. Uncle Bokwansa, please let us hear from Okatechi if you further come to Uncle Bokwansa. Good evening, Your Excellency. As usual, I would like to ask my question in three. Sir, how are you? I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me Your Excellency, I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask 
na mikoi with madam fwa wono so ye mo ni show of a kesman eh kwame apia kubi e kodru hono ni mana e koso ni bi your excellency it is heart wrenching semino ka sei tano sio ai da ho e si tobre meet me at jina the middle of the tano issue no mana nsiso do me ye yesu kristo that is how bad the destruction of our waters have become. Enra, we have to turn ourselves into citizen vigilantes to arrest some Chinese people and send them to the police station on this matter. Besides that, Achimota Forest, Yanyan TSA, and the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, say, year in, year out, a certain Owu family, Aya G. Asasi, Free Omon 1727, Yen Omoka, Eti omo dibi ukoma uu family no. Your Excellency, we di enye question. E ya chopa. A chumota forest ye di uu family bi ka. A binding chia uu family ni ka. Na forest no en na ho. Ne mo mi ye yusyo ye forest. Se di ye si se no in our quest to benefit from the natural resource of this country. I don't think we can continue like that as a nation. A dear in a woe obey ye, Sebeya, Yusua, Yaseno, Abedri, you bet me a reclaiming, nay, you bet me a body down over by Amada Chinchima. Thank you. Please let's take Uncle Bokwansa so we can, because I think now we've taken almost nine or so questions. I think for both I know, is that is, that's fair, right? Okay, Eben. All right, thank you very much. So, my name is Eben, I work at YFM Ghana. Um, I came all the way from Kumasi actually. You're welcome. And YFM Ghana has always been one of Ghana's biggest when you talk about media, especially with relations to the youth. Let's go to the question. Now, the question is, I work in the creative arts industry. Most of the times, we get to see our celebrities or people in that industry only when it gets to elections. That's when politicians want to use them because they do know that they carry certain power and they can actually help communicate. Now, my challenge is that what do we have for the creative arts industry? So many things have been said. One of the things that they often look at is tourism, year of return, beyond the return, which everybody can attest to the fact that it's been successful. Now, what are we doing with our movies? What are we doing with our music, our internet? Because today, we can change the narrative and perception about Ghana with movies. But unfortunately, our movie industry is kind of on a decline. When you talk about our actors and actresses, we get to hear of them when they're on their sick beds. There's nothing for them. Any kind of pension scheme, any kind of thing for them. What do we have for the creative arts industry? Since we hold a huge power to actually change the narratives of this country, and the creative arts industry also gets to employ thousands of people. Yeah. Then Yakunama will come, and then we are done. I have the floor. Yes, Paul. Thank you very much. Good evening, Mr. Vice President and colleague journalist. Uh, I think we're having a very interesting time. Mr. Vice President, I covered the NPP presidential primaries in 1998. I covered election 2000. I covered the NDC contest for election 2004, the one between Mills and Kwesi Butri. I covered election 2004, 2008, 12, 16, 20. I have never seen a presidential candidate whether in opposition or in government, focusing his campaign to the people about policy initiatives and policies that have been achieved. I also covered the UK election in 2001 for Tony Blair, and I covered also the UK election in 2019. You will find in those places that they were always articulating policy, what can be done, what can be solved, you will find here, in all of those historical elections, that we were not doing that until Mahama Dubaumia arrived on the scene. Mr. Vice President, whatever happens in December, you have changed the politics of Ghana and Africa for a long time to come. I have nothing more useful to add except that God bless you. God bless, God bless you too. Yakunama, please take the microphone to 
Upper East, Natalie Ford, and then Kasapa. Thank God that finally Grace located me for me to be called. Good evening, Your Excellency, and thanks for the opportunity. Um, I go back to the manifesto. Improved, um, you proposed a number of new tax regimes. You talked about Ghana's ports being competitive to that of Togo. We know Togo is mainly duty free. Is Ghana ports going to be duty free? And if you do that, coupled with the number of taxes and levies you intend to abolish, then there will be shortfall in revenue, which we know that the budget we draw year by year is highly dependent on loans and donor support. So if there, there are shortfalls in revenue, how are you going to make up and how will you fund all these lofty promises? Thank you. Thank you, Yakuma. Upper East, please. And then Bruno, please wait. Upper East, go ahead. Straight to the question, please. Good evening, Vice President. Uh, in 2019, uh, you accompanied the President uh, to Palatine widely known as Talisi District, to consult for the construction of the uh, Colgo Multipurpose Dam. Um, years down the line, nothing has happened. I mean, nothing substantial has happened. Uh, what has been done is that uh, 11.9 million US dollars have been paid for some, no, for, for some, there is no work done. Now, I want to ask your understanding of what that money was used for, and if you think it is prudent use of the taxpayers' money. You've also uh, said that you're going to ensure that it is constructed. We know in 2019, when the sword was cut, uh, it was estimated to cost nearly one billion US dollars. This is your question. <laughs> nearly one billion US dollars. Now, it is 2024, it's not going to cost the same. We know things have changed. What is the estimated cost now? And uh, uh, the last one. Uh, no, no, you have only one question. Please give to Natalie uh, Ford. In your Bema, a year poor, don't watch the day, or so on the day, or be that, 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 or be Na a registration, Uber register and be a part of it. Make sure how I be say I'll be registered no. Na a din tina was obe can hubi. Ube a part of a corner bar membership program no ewo a ye YouTube wa. Me wo videos a hood wobu ho a meye a post to a members nin kwani bin yashe. E be do time be met mini members no aye podcast a ye live videos e with members nin kwa e ni ye one. Ana number two, ye wo a ye in yanka e we senior kuna fobia. Aya me a corner banem kwa fobia or mabe kame hu. It is a Ghana, a Koyo or more Adoye. It is all part of a year a Konaba membership program, maybe a home, a YouTube ha. Ube Timiso as sponsor, and as I become a Jumadi home. It will become YouTube membership program, ya make a home as a me home. Sika, Ube Doniti, a YouTube membership program, no swan. A YouTube for a betty, a dear fool, what count to mono. Say, Obi, eight me fret or a Konaba so quiet research, mamma. Say, Sika ne be any timi, a demand and call for a gun, a two or more cap because me three attacks. E ma sa anko ofo no, e kwa kwa yesa e jume di eno research no, e di buwa anko ofo a, omo su e ye part of a corner bar membership program yi hon. E tu be ti mebe ye part of a corner bar membership program yi e wo YouTube ha, ne hon a kwa nchide ene. O be ti me ako, e ye video bi a, e ye corner bar ma postu o so, nu e miya join o so, u miya join e so a, e be bi another page bi, e di amaw, e hon a be fill in with details. Who we are now feeling one apply. No, I become a corner bar membership program in our YouTube. Ha, me that's so what I see. We've been in actual was now on the asia. We'll be to my live comment. I will be video. Be as a Mitchell Musso Eddie Hello, I will be saying for so Percy Fita as a child of four dear. And then now for Moko Dom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong quam. What did you choose? And my will see a year fita. Na e ye fita non suno. Na e ye and kalboni beer e wo no mu bia. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain si bia. Unique laser whitening product. E be yini ni ne fri swama or kama kama kama. The obayan is say uchu so. Na u di be gu. O brush it so. Na u de chuchu sini sun yina kama. U via and wu hu wenu mi janu wenu msa. Inti fre unique laser whitening. E wo zero seven nine. Nine nine seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening. 
Ose, mwenye sa 